Let's Play Rumble Roses. Uh, sorry I haven't introduced that in the last couple of videos. Um, I've been distracted. Uh, I've been distracted by something rather happy. I've, um, I've actually worked out how to uh, do the sound a, a lot better. I'm hoping that this sounds better to you, although at this point I don't think I've posted any of the videos where the sound didn't work that well. And what I'm talking about is the sound of my own commentary track. I found a new way to do it. It eliminates a whole step out of the process so things are running a little bit faster and sounding better. And everything's fantastic except for the fact that the actual recording of gameplay features enough lab lab lag that the, the Black Belt Demon love you to death, honey. You're my favorite character in the whole game, probably. Um... But she's kicking my butt, and that's not cool. So uh, I'm going to try to pull this one out. There's a real good chance we're going to lose and have to start over. Or not start over, but just continue. But there's no penalty for that, except that I'll look like a schmuck. So uh, let's just get all of them. She, thankfully, has not been attempting her finisher. Although, any minute now, she's going to get the hell up. I love her. Yeah, she's about to defeat me. Uh, almost no chance I'm going to get out of this. No. I love the Black Belt Demon because there's really no other character in the game who's going to say, Get the hell up. Which is, I don't know. Reiko will never give up, but um, she will also not get the hell up when told to by the Black Belt Demon. Black Belt Demon counters my figure four attempt because she's a student of Anastasia, apparently. This match is my, this match is my, this match is my, just in pants, folks. Great technique to uh, defeat a tough opponent. And she took away my weapon, which was a tickle stick. So I'm gonna have to break her back. Boom! Eat mesh, girl. Damn it, Black Belt Demon, I'm trying to show everyone all the weapons. Don't you think the folks deserve to see all the weapons? Because yeah. the Black Belt Demon kind of has a personality and story, sort of. Basically, she's just a... She's the sweet, innocent uh, Makoto Aihara girl, except that she gets really sick of nobody taking her seriously and thinking she's a stupid goody-two-shoes. So she basically makes a conscious decision to start, you know, being really as bitchy as someone as hot as she is can get away with being. Which, uh, you know, I can respect that. But, um, sadly, when she appears in Reiko's story mode, it's as just an insane chick. Like, she's been brainwashed and become evil. So, um, you know, her dialogue in the story mode will be like, I must kill Reiko. But then when you're actually fighting, she has her regular dialogue, which is stuff like, Get the hell up. And she keeps stealing my tickle stick and whack me over the head. And that ain't too cool. You're going down, biatch. So I have to mention Oka Driver a bitch. And then we'll take turns looking at, you know, people's crotches. You have to decide for yourself. It's a tough call. If you prefer, like, shiny pleather or whatever the hell Reiko's wearing or lingerie. It's a very personal decision and you, you have to make it for yourself, folks. I can't help you with that one. But I can drop kick Black Belt Demon in the face. Damn it, let me hit the move. It's not even that useful. It's just... If I do it now, I don't have to do it again with other characters. You'll, you'll be able to see it, and that'll be enough. Uh, and I'm gonna mention Oka Driver, a bitch. For a minute, I thought that was actually gonna win the match. Which would have been strange. You don't usually win with anything except finishers. Oh shit, she's got a finisher! Oddly enough, you're gonna let me do it. I was totally expecting that to get countered. This will get me a finisher at least. And that will should allow me to win the match. And uh, I'll just have to show you the tickle stick against somebody else. It's a really stupid weapon. I guess tickling is erotic for some people. So, if it's erotic for anyone, they throw it in this game. I mean, there's some stuff that you just could not do in an even in a rated M game that they don't do, but... Don't call me Miss Bitch! Makoto, How old do you think I am? Looks like you finally come back to us. And your hair color's changed slightly. 
I became a monster. Rico, I wish I could quit you. Break it up! You're making me sick! Yeah, I can see them. Anesthesia. I don't like you very Break much. It. Thanks to you, everything has changed. I can no longer tell people so that their families are in hell. Do that, I'm gonna make you pay in the most sadistic way possible. I'm course. gonna force you to watch Daddy Daycare. <laughs> Wait! I want you to come back here and be my friend. So Anastasia, the evil nurse, uh, tells people their families are in hell. Also, somehow brainwashed Makoto, so that's interesting. What are you doing here? I thought I told you to leave. Rest Fujiko, cup in time. You help me because I'm your little sister, right? If you won't withdraw, I'll have to take you down myself. And I actually just kind of like Fujiko, it. Fujiko, did not your sister. I, just seemed nice. I can't take this. If I keep I cupping my bra like this. Ahead of me. I got to whoop my little sister's ass. Okay, so, um, let's see the plot so far. Reiko's mom died, so she went to America to wrestle. And uh, some pop singer made fun of her, and uh, then she met Makoto. But Makoto was brainwashed by an evil nurse who told Reiko that her family's in hell. Also, this uh, her older sister is an uh, insane woman in a cat suit. Now, I have an older sister. To the best of my knowledge, she does not wear a cat suit. Although, if she did, um, you know, I don't think she'd do it around me anyway. So, it's possible that she wears a cat suit. But I kind of doubt it. I kind of, you know, seriously doubt it. I have to remember this for when I get a finisher saved up because it leaves you on the top rope so that you can. I think that drop kick hit, but it totally shouldn't have. <laughs> Elbow drop. I don't know what I'm talking about, folks. Alright, work the leg, Reiko. Figure four. Woo. Uh, I can tell she's the last uh, opponent before the bosses start coming because this is the goofy uh, arena where you fight the bosses. If you notice, there are huge open flaming torches in the background. And, uh,. Stone wall around that side of the ring. They are apparently having a pro wrestling event in a castle. It's the historic Gothic Castle in downtown New York. Come here. That's a very confused reference to uh, Escape from New York, which is a Mystery Science Theater. I said it before, I'll say it again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm probably talking about Mystery Science Theater. Now, I started in the last video to compliment Shady Knight's Let's Play Final Fantasy X. And, uh, I started saying that he has a different style from me. He doesn't make jokes so much, and then it kind of trailed off. Going back and listening to it for sync sound, I realized, um, without intending to, I kind of totally made it sound like I couldn't think of anything nice to say, when in fact it was just that I got distracted by the game. But Shady Knight's gameplay style when he's doing a Let's Play, and I've only seen him do one Let's Play of the one game, but it's one of my favorite games, which is... Part of why I checked it out. But uh, it's much more conversational. He just like tells you what he thinks about the characters. I haven't been doing that because um, that much. I've mostly been making shit up. So if I told you what I think about the character, particularly in Rumble Roses, um, and I just might get like, you know, oh man, I'm so hot for, you know, Anastasia or whatever. I don't think you really want to hear that. Um, but no. Shady Knight's Let's Plays, very pleasant, conversational. Kind of makes you feel like you're just hanging around with a friend watching them play video games. So, you know, if you are, um, whereas with me, I'm just, like, constantly trying to make jokes and probably distracting you more than anything else from the game. But, uh, you know, if you are a girl and, um, you plan someday to, uh, have a boyfriend who plays video games and you can sit there and pretend to be interested while you watch, definitely check out Shady Nights Let's Play because it's great practice for just hanging around and watching a video game. <laughs> you play by somebody else. And, um, doesn't feature a lot of stupid Wolfman Jack says, check out that girl's crotch, baby! Uh, kind of commentary. Alright, so now I just wasted a lot of time talking about another Let's Player. So let's get back to, oh, there's Candy Cane. She's, um, she's a fun character. We'll check her out eventually. Fujiko! I'm gonna kick your face in! No, I'm... We always practiced with Mom when we were little. Cupping our breasts. I'll know it's you when we fight in the rain. She must have some kind of awful Ears. rash on her right breast, because she any excuse to touch it. Or should I address you as Fujiko? 
Should I have insane cleavage that's barely sister. held down by my plastic you nurse outfit? Ashamed after all that training. What would your daddy's? Oh wait, you don't have a dad. Has been. I thought you'd be the only one able to pass Lady X's test. You'll notice as we play, there's really only one Looks male like presence anywhere in this entire game. Showdown. Even the ring announcer is a crazy chick. But um, wait. What? I shouldn't be talking about this. It can't be. Mom's still alive? Uh, no. That would be stupid. No, she's dead. Lady X is not Mom. For one thing, she's Caucasian. Wrestlers are among the strongest fighters in the world. She's a human weapon, developed using material from them. You know, hair clippings, real toenails. Form. This witch here transplanted Kamikaze Rose's DNA into a cyborg. Um, why? That's right. And your mother was reborn as Lady X. So she's not? Rico, don't be a fool. Lady X needs to be taken down. I hope you're getting this you folks. Protect the legend of Kamikaze Rose. You, you do realize that mom <laughs> likes to job all the time. Well, you'll know when you fight her in the ring. <laughs> you have a silly, silly, family voice, Rico. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what I was talking about when that plot scene started, but I'm kicking myself. That's like one of the goofiest plot scenes in the game, and I was just kind of babbling about something else. So, Booey on you, EJG. So, here's Lady X. Uh, she's a robot. What the hell? Now, Ra Lady X has like two forms, and her second form is really tough. Her first form, generally pretty easy. So, uh, watch me now start getting my butt kicked because of lag issues again. Like, Lady X's first form generally tends to be easier than the last regular form you face, so. I don't know why. It's something about this character. She's really hard to, to use H move on because her humiliation meter doesn't raise that fast. Because I guess in theory, you know, if she's a robot, she can't be embarrassed. Also, uh, apparently she is a cyborg weapon created from Kamikaze Rose's DNA. And if she's not pretty embarrassed about, you know, being the cyborg weapon of an evil nurse wrestling lady, then uh, she's just not easy to embarrass folks. She is, however, easy to, uh, uh, what the hell is that move called? Uh, Michinoku Driver. But when Reiko does it, it's like the Michinoku Driver. <laughs> you get it? Boom! Oh crap, she dodged it. Dodge this bitch! I pretty much decided you're not mom, by the way. If you were a mom, I would probably avoid dropping you on your head quite so much. really haven't shown you Reiko's whole moveset. Oh, cool. I love doing moves from behind. Oh, which is why it's a shame I messed that up so badly. Off you go! So that's the version of that back suplex you don't want to do, because it doesn't leave you set up for a cool finisher. But now I want to do um, stuff that can be countered. That's my plan. Maybe I'll try to tickle Evil Rose. Why not? Or, I mean, Lady X. Yeah, yeah, you just taunt away, that's fine. Make you easier to tickle. Any character except Lady X, you do that to them, you, they giggle, and it's probably meant to be sexy. But um, Lady X is a robot, so no giggling. She does, however, get um, whacked over the head. Which is always fun. Ow. Ow. Uh, yeah, she's a cyborg. Humans pretty much can't do that. Human females don't really have the upper body strength to, like, do that. Neither do about 99% of human males, in case anyone thinks I'm being sexist here. Boom, drop a bitch on her head. Break a bitch's lungs. Let's pause this here, because, uh, I don't want to bleed into the next video. When we come back, folks, we'll face the true form of Lady X, and I will continue kicking myself for having not come up with funnier things to say during the goofiest plot reveal ever, when you find out that your dead mom has been transformed into a Caucasian cyborg by an evil nurse. Talk to you next time, folks.